In this tutorial, we will demonstrate two Photoshop features, Actions and Automate. Automate allows Photoshop to execute a sequence of actions to save you time from performing repetitive tasks. For example, you have scanned several animation sketches with game sprites. However, your scanner included some undesirables on all of your scanned images. Instead of individually cropping each image, you can use Automate to crop all of your images at once. However, we'll first need to make our actions before we can use the Automate feature. First, click on Window on the top tab. Then, select Actions. An Actions tab will open. You can also press Alt plus F9 to open the Actions tab. There will be some default actions included. Do not worry about them for now. We will begin creating a new action. Click on the Create New Action button underneath the Actions tab. A window pop-up will appear where you can name your action. For this example, we will call our action Crop Images. Once you have named your action, you will notice a red lid circle icon underneath the Action tab. This red circle indicates you are now recording your action. Let's start by selecting the Crop tool. Note that the Crop tool shortcut is the C key. Crop the image so that you exclude the undesirable. Then confirm your crop selection. Now we will save out the cropped image. Click on File, then select Save As. Then select or create a new folder where you want to save your output files. In this example, we will create a new folder called Cropped Images. Save your file inside the Cropped Images folder. Throughout our action creation, you may have noticed how all of our action steps are recorded in the Actions tab. We've finished creating the actions we need. Click the stop button underneath the actions tab. This will end the recording for our crop images action. Now we're ready to use the automate feature. Click on file, then hover to automate, and then click on batch. The batch window will now appear. Click on the action drop down button to reveal a list of actions. Then, choose the Crop Images action we made just earlier. Ensure the Source section has folder selected. This determines which folder we'll be using to apply our Crop Images action. Also, ensure that the folder that you select contains only images that you want cropped. In the Destination section, click on the Choose button to select where our output files will be saved. In the File Naming section, you can choose to modify the output file's name. For this example, we won't worry about this for now. Finally, click on OK. Now, Photoshop will perform the Crop Images action on all of our scanned images and do all of the work. And that's all there is to it. You can make any set of actions based on your needs and use Automate to automatically perform your actions.